40 work very well. <laughs> low it drags I need to get me a little if, I, if my ball was higher then this part ends up hitting this so I'm trying to unscrew it and everything but anyway we're down here on another bottom getting ready to uh, go set the trap of course it's hot I took this trap down from another spot and uh, already heart already <laughs> oh babe but anyway just like any other time, man, we headed down here in the bottom. Got a few pigs we need to catch down here. They're tearing up food plots and whatnot. Or old food plots, but they still tear them up during the fall. So we're going to try to get a jump start on this summer on this hunting club here. And uh, see how many we can catch. So y'all enjoy the ride. Let's go check it out. Better get you one of them old bumpers like I got called old Rick Carroll. So Rick, everybody don't know his name. Rick Carroll. Go ride, boys. I've done a hog survey here like i said i said before and i come in here y'all seen some of my videos the other day but anyway i got it walled up pretty good right here you can see there's some big tracks in there and uh so we're gonna corn it up you can see they just kind of hanging look over that shade right there Whew, it smell like hog up in here boys got them a good hog waller right there lay up a little bit come over here so this will be a fun little spot as you can see, I got mud right there. I'm gonna have to clean them rollers out and everything, but just be like that sometimes. Just be like that sometimes. Anywho, there's a little food plot right here. There was a food plot. They just come in here and they just root the whole field up. So anyway, got them a little shooting house right there. Like I said, they can shoot. I think they said they had 30 coming here one time during the winter and uh, they shot one or two, you know. Ain't done much, so we're gonna try to catch a few for them. You know, I don't know. We don't have 30 in here. Uh, summertime they spread out a little bit more than they do in the wintertime when they congregate. But uh, anyway, let me get this trap loaded, unloaded, set up. We'll get back with you. You know how it works. Y'all know how it works. <laughs> there she is, boys. 
You can see I'm sweating a pretty good bit. Took me a little bit longer to put it together today. Usually it's about 25 minutes. I think it took me about 29 minutes. <laughs> anyway, I got it together. I got three days to catch it. Today is Monday. I got Monday night, Tuesday night, and Wednesday night to catch, and then I got to go out of town. So uh, if I don't catch it in the next three nights, uh, we're going to do something different. So hopefully we can get it done. So anywho, y'all seen how it is. Now we got to get this ranger rolling. Get a little air to my young lungs. Done got hot, boss. Done got hot. So basically what I got here is this pig right here is just a bully. He's not letting any other pigs come in. He's not letting, uh, I had like a little small group of pigs. He's not letting anything happen. So, I mean, even this pig right here in front, they won't even let him get in the trap good. So, I feel like I need to catch that big boar hog and then maybe I can give it a couple of days and them other ones will kind of come back in. But I feel like all I'm gonna do if I drop the trap, I'm just gonna catch uh to catch that big boy hog, but I'd like for that one to ease on up in there a little bit more, but I don't know. It's just, uh, it's so aggravating when you get a boar hog, it won't act right. I don't know. What you think? What y'all think? Well, we catch them two anyway. We catch two. I think we caught two. Ah, uh, we caught three. They caught three, getting a little mud on the camera. Stirring it up good, but. Anyways. This old boy hog just so daggone bullying. I just had to do something with him, so. Anyhose. I ain't with three hogs. I'm not very satisfied with three hogs, but uh, they'll calm down here in a little bit, hopefully, and uh, we'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning, guys. Man, I don't know, I'm always messing up. Anyway, having to redo my intro right here for the morning. I did it one time, went to play it back, and uh, had a little music in it, so YouTube will act silly over it. So, anyway, I ain't feeling good this morning. My ears, been, my ears and throat been hurting for a couple of days, but. Now my stomach's hurting. This morning I had about four hours of sleep, so. I'll get to going here in a minute. Oh, uh, like I said, we got a couple of hogs caught. Go down there and get them. But anyway, got about 20 minute ride, 25 minute ride, so. Anyways, not much of an intro. My, my stomach's hurting just a minute, so we'll get with y'all back here in a little bit. All right, so basically here's what's gonna go down. I'm gonna walk down here think on my camera, I pulled my camera up. I think I saw uh, another hog in the field, I'm not sure. And uh, look, it was black, but uh, precautionary, I'm just gonna walk down here. And uh, if it is, I got the 270 on my back. And I'm gonna take a pocket one if they're in that field, so stay with me. I got the 22 just in case. To, if it ain't, I'm gonna knock them other pigs in the head, but. If there's a pig on the outside, I'm gonna knock it down. About 60 degrees, I'm gonna put my long sleeve on. So anyway, let's go ahead and see what it's about. Oh. 
Yeah. What are you doing out there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The good hole right there. That's the bully hole right there. And uh, anyway. Ooh. Yeah. Shot the big old sow right over there. I'm going to finish her off here and just say. 32, I mean, 72, 70. Anyway, y'all can see right there. That old bully hog right there, man. He uh, wouldn't let nobody else eat. Uh, anyway, so we go. <laughs> Get out nasty. Anyway, I'm trying to. Anyway, let me get this thing. Let me get me nasty, man. Oh, this mud's gonna be nasty. Anyway. That's them right there. Whew. Let me get them knocked down real quick. And I'll holler right back at you. See you right there. Take my 270 back with me. Anyway, we got them knocked in the head. I'm gonna let them make sure they're all the way done. I'll go get going back to get my Ranger. And uh, try to cover up some of that little bit of that blood in the uh, cage there. But uh, that ended up being a boar. I thought that was a sow on the outside. It ended up being a big old boar, too. So it looked like it's all boars. So, anywho, I saw some piglets up in here and over there. But maybe we'll get on them. Like I said, that old, that old boar right there that's in the, in the cage over in the trap, he just wouldn't let nobody eat. I usually, but I only got. Tomorrow I gotta leave town, so if I catch something tonight, I gotta be here early, get them, and get out of here. So, oh, and I can come back. But since I seen one was on the outside trap, I just went and brought my two seventy down here. He's actually sniffing on the trap. I mean, sniffing on the hog guy camera, and uh, smoked him. But anyways, let me go back to the thing. Let me go back and get the ranger. See about trying to get this thing, get the trap up. And, Load it up. Ooh. Well, I come back down here. Got the trap cage up and everything. Grab this bull hog over here. Two boars in here that was being bullied. I got both. I got both the big ones, so that's good. I get this song off in here. Just stop. That's a stout hole right there, boy. Oh. And I thought it was a big old sow because there's some piglets in there, but end up being a big old bull. <sighs> like I said, I had two. I had two that was uh this boy come out early. I tell how thin skin he is. His hair is real light. He ain't got a whole lot of hair on him. You can see his skin through the hair, but uh he come in early. We was watching the Mississippi State baseball game last night. He come in early keeping the rest of them out. And by the time he left off to eat, the other boar hog come in there keeping the rest of them. So we get the bullies out of here and we concentrate on the rest. Anyway, let's get this trailer over there and we'll get them loaded up too. Boy. Let's see how that goes. Oh, 
got some cutters on him. He got some cutters on him. Y'all probably don't want to look at my hiney, do you? Seem to be about the same size hogs, but this one got some cutters on. Get the front shoulders over. Y'all don't forget now when you're working these traps, set them safety pins. Anything that happens. That's that huh? That's that too. Going to the car at 8:30. I won't go like this. One more. I think I need me a roll bar on this end. What y'all think, guys? I bet it helps.
that come off the snap there. That'd have been bad. Get up there and bust my tail. I ain't got enough to bust as it is. So I don't need to crack any of it. My booty already messed up. It got a crack in it. Been there since I was born. We'll come back in here a little while. I'll corn it back up. Be ready. Woo. Hurt, boy. Give me just a second. We'll show you what them teeth look like. Give me a second, boss. Well, we got them loaded up. Drove back up here, hooked to the trailer, hooked to the truck. We're gonna take them to go feed some families now. Oh, man. Oh, a little tired this morning. Stomach still tore up, but uh, any which ways. If you're watching YouTube, look in the description if y'all wanna help with knocking heads, feeding families. It takes a lot to, uh, Go and process and give this and around or whatever. If not, that's fine. If it ain't for you, I don't mind. But if it is, go to the description. Hit the link. Help a fella out. If not, but y'all can look at this right here. How big is hog? Pretty good cutters on him. Decent cutters. Like I said, good hog. I would weigh him, but I ain't I ain't got time. I gotta be at the chiropractor at eight, and I am a filthy mess. But y'all know. My kid gave me this shirt. My kid gave me this shirt. Man, the myth, the legend. I mean, he knows. He knows. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Any which way, y'all know how it goes. Like I said, pain done jumped over this here. It wasn't this here. Anyway, tired boy. See if we can't catch some more. Catch y'all in the next video. But y'all know how it goes. I hope y'all have a good day. God bless. You. And as always. Jesus loves you. Oh. And is always Jesus loves you. Oh. <laughs>